We've got a pretty interesting story here that caught my eye. This story comes out of Utah. Family poisoned themselves because they feared pending apocalypse, investigators find. Authorities in Utah say a family poisoned themselves concerned with evil in the world and a pending apocalypse. Officials say they wanted to escape the impending doom. Here's a picture. It was the husband, the wife, and the three children. Apparently, the husband and the wife uh, poisoned the three children and then poisoned themselves. They were all found dead in a bedroom, covered up and arranged. The parents had another son, an 18-year-old son. He was the one that found the the children and the parents dead and then they found cups filled with red liquid next to the bodies Christy and Benjamin were lying in the bed and the three children were lying around the bed covered in bedding up to their necks they found cold flu medicine Benadryl and methadone here's what caught my eye the most Friends said they thought uh, they might mean the family could be moving somewhere to live off the grid. Now, with this story here, they're trying to use the mental health agenda. And also, they're trying to weave into the story here where they said they was fearing uh, an apocalypse, impending doom, and a friend said they thought they may have, uh, may be getting ready to go somewhere and live off the grid. Let's listen to what I believe this is the man's brother had to say here. There were signs there, but we weren't able to recognize them because we weren't qualified to recognize them. The Strats had never been properly treated for their problems, which the brothers believed had worsened in the days leading up to the deaths. In this case, there were some signs like isolation, missing work, depression. Now, listen to what this brother has to say. And, uh, how he's pushing a mental health agenda. Uh, this is what Isaac Strack says. We go see a doctor at least once a year. We go see a dentist every six months. We get our oil changed, but we don't do anything for our mental health. There is the stigma that follows it. In an effort to increase awareness about mental health services, the family is working with the nonprofit organization National Alliance on Mental Health. Now, see, this is how the propaganda works the social engineering, these articles. People reading stuff like this, it plants the seeds into their minds that if you've got friends or if you've got relatives or neighbors uh, that believe in alternative media, media or like conspiracy theories, or interested in uh, living off the grid, that you are one of these people that's going to poison your family and kill yourselves or go on some kind of shoot and murder rampage. And did you hear what the guy was saying? We didn't recognize it because we aren't trained. Uh, you know, and then he goes on about uh, getting your car uh, or getting your oil changed going to the doctor every year, getting your tooth checked every six months, they're implying that they believe that everyone should have, there should be a national uh, mandated mental health checkup. And they're, these signs, believing in conspiracy theories, wanting to live off the grid, they're saying it is indicators. See, see how they weave this together? Now I want you to get a load of this comment right here at the bottom of this. This is what happens 
with uneducated or low educated people who are conspiracy theorists and do not have the common sense to know right from wrong have children. I feel so bad, sad for these poor kids who were forced to die. This has been Unraveling the Matrix. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.